holding this up is to detect when a button is pressed and we'll demonstrate this by changing some text. So creating a UI couldn't be any easier in Thunkable, just drag and drop in all the blocks that you want, change some properties. So we're just going to make a button that says click me. In the blocks then, really simple, we're going to drag out this button1.click event and what we want to do is change the text property. So we set button1.text to be a string. So that's this empty text block here um, and we'll type in clicked. So that's all there is to it. Uh, just these three blocks here to change the text on your block. Let's look at this in live preview mode. Hit the button and the text changed. Every time we change the click the button, the text goes to clicked. That's it for this video. Uh, if you like this, click on the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.